Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss a text function in Power BI called as format. First, let's look at the definition and the syntax and then try to implement it in Power BI with the help of an example. Here is the definition and the syntax. Converts a value to text according to the specified format. And syntax, it takes two parameters, the value and the format string. A value or expression that evaluates to a single value a string with the formatting template. Written value, a string containing value formatted has defined by format string parameter. And we have some remarks as well and some examples here. And we have some predefined numeric formats here. So we have general number, currency, fixed, standard, person, scientific, yes, no, true, false, etc and some remarks as well and some example. What we can do is uh, go to PBI and with the help of some sample data, let's try to implement these uh, format functions, okay? I have this sample data in this PBI and I've created a table here. Uh, I'm not gonna implement the format function in columns, but I want to create some calculated measures and then try to implement the format function within the measure instead of a column. So what I'm going to do is uh, have sales order ID and modify date and line total. Okay, so I'm going to experiment uh, this function on these two fields, especially modify date and line total, and see how we can use uh, these format functions. So first, let's try to use uh, uh, some of the currency function. Okay, let's say. Uh, let me add a new measure here. And then let me call this as line total. Let me use a currency function here. So first I'm gonna calculate some of a line total. And then let's see what we have here. I'll bring it to the values here. So if we, you, you get just a total here. So now I'm gonna use a format function on top of this format. And then I'm gonna use currency function. Hit enter. And you should be able to see it's, it's by default, it's in a dollar, okay? So, this is how you can use a currency function. Now let me give, uh, give a try on a function which we saw in the definition that is fixed. So click on new measure. Let's see what we get when we use fixed. Line total fixed equal to format sum of line total, I'm gonna use fixed with quotes, close the parenthesis and enter. So let me bring this here. If it, it gives two decimal points to the right, and at least minimum of uh, one decimal points to the left. That's how the fixed function works. And now let's try to do one more function called general number. Let's see what we have. Click on new measure. Call this as line total. I'll write GN instead of full name, general number, format, sum of line total, and use general, I think it should be general number. Let me look into the specification. Yes, it's general number. Hit enter. Yeah. 
if you notice the difference between general number and fixed rate, as I said, it takes two decimal places to the right. General number, you can see it has a more number of uh, decimal points, okay? And then let's try with the standard. Click on new measure. Call this is line total standard. So format sum of line total and the format is standard. Hit enter. As you can see here, I have a comma separated value. So I have after every thousand separator, right? So 29,000 comma 923 and two decimal places to the right. So this is how we get, we can use a standard function. And then maybe we can try something like a percent. So it may not be the right example to show the percentage, but we can try it here. Line total percentage equal to format sum of line total within quotes percent hit enter and then bring it to the values. Okay, so we have percent. You can see it converts the numbers into as a percentage format. So this is how we can use percent. And then let's try some date functions because uh, most of the time, we use only for the following functions, especially when dealing with numericals. So let's try with the date function. So if we know that it's a modified date in this, in this format, right? It's a month, date, and year with timestamp. So now let's try to change it to, uh, into a year, month, and date format, okay? So click on new measure. Call this as date one equal to format. I need to use a max function here because format takes one single value because some returns a single value for each record. Similarly, I need to use a modified date. And then format. Let's try to do with uh, something like uh, year, month, and date. MM, DD, hit enter. As you can see, we have year, month, and date format. Let's try to do something like uh, month, date, and year. So click on new measure. Date two is equal to format max of modified date and then format. I will use month, date, and year. Month date and here. So bring this to the values here. And we have month, date and year. Maybe if I want to have full year, let's see what we have. getting the full law uh, four digits here. So this is how we can try to use a, a format function. There are like numerous ways you can uh, modify it. So I'm not gonna go in detail of each and every 
function because uh, it's already there in the documentation only thing is you need to change your the second parameter that is your string format string and then you can get your desired results but i'm going to show you one more uh, format function uh, maybe let's try with uh, conditional formatting here so i'm going to create a new measure here and try to show you how we can use uh, format here conditional formatting i'll call this as color type okay equal to i'm going to use a switch function because i know it gives uh, it needs to check based on the line total let's say if my line total is less than 1000 i want this to be formatted as red and otherwise i want it to be shown as yellow how do we do that so i'm going to use a switch function to decide whether line total is greater than uh, 1000 or less than 1000 and then if it is greater than 1000 i'm going to give a value called uh, green and if it is less than 1000 i'm going to give a value called red so to do that i'm going to use a switch function here expression is i want to be true if if you haven't uh, tried true function i have a, a video on explaining how to use a true uh, switch function using true please go through that function and then come back here so true value value is sum of line total is less than 1000 what it's going to do is it'll it's going to check this part okay it's check if sum of fat line total is less than 1000 if it is equal to this true then i want red okay else i want the green okay so now let's try to bring it here okay let's bring this to the table here bring this here let's see what we get here we are getting either red green red or green so let's say i want to add one more thing here i want to add uh, one more logic or condition it's, uh, sum of is less let's say if less than 2000 then i want yellow okay else green okay so i should be getting red green and yellow yes i have few yellows here so now using this uh, measure right color type so i decided which color whether it's red green yellow so using this measure which i created I'm going to change the color of uh, this uh, line total currency. So I have, if I go back to here, I have line total currency, right? So I can do a conditional formatting, let's say for the background, okay? So what I'm going to do is I just clicked on this table here so that I get, uh, get to see all the values here. Um, I want to change the line total currency based on its value. So I'm going to click on this drop down here line total currency and then i have an option called conditional formatting and let's say i want just a background color okay click on background color so it says format by how do you want to format i want to format this by field values this is called field values right so i'm going to select field value and then we know this field right color type it has red green or yellow based on that red green or yellow i want to change the background of line total currency so now click ok now notice the color changing as you can see here wherever it's red i'm getting red wherever it's green i'm getting green and wherever it's yellow i'm getting yellow this is how we can use uh, condition of formatting okay in pbi so this is just a simple example so for beginners i think this will be easier that's the reason i separated this into two parts here okay color type and then i calculated separately and then 
but uh, there are like uh, advanced ways where you instead of uh, doing it separately like creating a separate uh, measure for color type you can do within uh, uh, the, the formula in the conditional formatting function itself so just to make sure you understand uh, it in a simple manner i created it separately here okay using a switch function decide whether it's uh, some fact line total is less than thousand then red the evaluation happens in the order first it, this gets evaluated if this is true it stops there if it is false then it goes to the second uh, uh, expression here the parameter and uh, it evaluates this one if it is true it stops here if it's false then again it goes to your else condition which gives you a green this is how uh, the uh, conditional formatting works in pbi okay that's for, for uh, that's all for today and i uh, hope this video was helpful if you like this video, please click on the like button. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.